Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to solve the problem. Find the farthest smaller number in the right side of a given array. This question was asked in an Amazon interview. Okay, so what we are given is we are given an array and we have to find the element which is smaller to the current like element present at the current index and which is far away as possible. Okay, so if you look at the output, don't get confused. Okay, these are not the actual elements. This is the index where the element is present in the original array. Okay, let's see what zero, one, two, three. At index three, it is element number two, element two. So element two is less than three and it is far as possible. Okay, after two comes four. Four is not less than three, so it is not included. Minus one means there is no element which is smaller than that current element. Okay, so let's see the intuition for this, then we will go for the code. So here I've taken that same example, array, and here I've mentioned the index of the array. So I've created an another uh, array called as min. So what will mean store? Mean means mean will store the element which is smaller to the current element on the right side. For each element, it will store how what is the element which is smaller than it to the right side. So for doing this, you will start from the end. Now let's take the last element four. For four, there is no element to the right side. So itself uh, is there on the right side. Now the formula here is, now suppose this is i, so minimum at index i is equals to minimum of ARR of i and min i plus 1. So let's come here. What is i? i is 3. So minimum of ARR of 3 and minimum of 4. So which is smaller, two and four, two is smaller. Let's come here, minimum of five and two, two. Minimum of one and two, one obviously. And again, minimum of three and one is one. So it all revolves around just this formula. With just this formula, we can create this minimum map. Okay. So now the point is, you have to find the farthest element. Okay, now this is the minimum element on the right side for each element in the original array. But now we have to find the farthest element. So what we will do is we will apply binary search. Now, as you can see, that these elements are in a complete sorted order. Okay, one, two, two, four. So they are completely sorted. So, so suppose I have to find the farthest element for uh, the first index. Okay for the first index. So from where I will apply binary search? Let's take a guess. Obviously I will apply from the next element till the last element. Okay. But the binary search will be applied on the min array, not on the original array because the sorted elements are present in this array. So uh, first let's talk about the termination condition. The termination conditions will be If this will not satisfy, then it will get terminated. Okay. And mid, how will we calculate mid? It is low plus high divided by two. Okay. So let's start. So for the first element, okay. Now for this in the loop, we will uh, take an variable called as answer. And initially it will be initialized to minus one in case the element does not exist. Okay. So for ARR of three, uh, ARR of zero, element is three. So low will be this, and high will be this. So what is mid? Four plus one, five. Five divided by two, two. So let's come here. Element at index two in min array. What is it? Two. Is it less? Then this three. Yes, of course it is. So we'll update the index over here. Index will become two. 
if this condition satisfies that if we have found an element which is smaller than the element of our original element then we will increment the low what will low become low will become mid plus 1 else will decrement high it will become mid minus 1 so now low will become mid plus 1 low is over here so 4 plus 3 7 7 divided away by 2 3 Elemented index 3 is 2. It is smaller than 3. Yes, of course. So again, we will uh, substitute the value over here. And so it will become 3. So the condition is satisfied. So we will again increment low. Low will become mid plus 1, which is over here. So low will come over here. Condition is yet satisfied. Okay. Low is less than high. Condition is yet satisfied. So let's check. What is the element present over here? It is 4. Is it smaller than 3? No. Of course not. It is not smaller than 3. So now what will take place? Now we will decrement high. What will high become? High will become mid minus 1. High comes over here. We will check. Condition is not satisfied. So the loop gets terminated. And what is the answer? Answer is 3. So for this element, the answer over here will be 3. Okay. If you have not understood, I will again explain it for the next element. Okay. Let me just erase this. So element at index 1, which is 1. So what will be our low? Low will be i plus 1 always. So here is our low. Here is our high. OK. What is mid? 4 plus 2, 6. 3. This is our mid. Is this element less than 1? No. It is not less than 1. So what we will do is high equals to mid minus 1. Mid minus 1, high and low, both points to the same uh, index. Okay. Condition is just satisfied, low less than equal to high. Again, you will check 2, it is less than 1. No, it is not less than 1. So what you will do? Again, so the mid is obviously 2. Okay, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 divided by 2, 2. So mid again becomes minus 1. So, sorry, high becomes mid minus 1, high comes over here, it will check the condition, condition is satisfied, no, condition is not satisfied, the loop gets terminated and what is the answer in the value, minus 1. So, in this way, the array will be filled, okay, so here it will come 4, here it will be minus 1, here it will be minus 1. So now let us look at the code. Okay. <laughs> so I have written the code over here, but it is a partial code. First of all, I will only show you how to construct the min array. Okay. So here is the formula which I have mentioned minimum of min i plus 1 and a error of i. I have just written a call to the function called solve. So I'll just print <coughs> the values. See, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 4. We have got 1, 1, 2, 2, 4. Now, we will do the binary search. For that, we will have a loop. Inside the loop, we will have three elements. What they will be? Low, mid, and answer. Low will be always i plus 1. High will be n minus 1. And answer will be minus 1. Sorry, I forgot to mention the i variable. Oh, sorry, high variable. Now, inside the while loop, this is our termination condition. And here, we will place our mid variable. So, what is the condition? Okay. 
if minimum of mid is less than ARR of I, then only we will substitute the uh, mid variable in answer and we will increment low. Otherwise, simple, I will get decremented. Okay. Let's check out the answer now. Okay. See, three minus one, four minus one, minus one, as I mentioned over here. I hope the solution is clear to you guys. I will mention the code in the GitHub link, which will be present in the description. If you have any doubts or if you want me to solve any other question, please mention it in the comment. Stay safe and thank you.